Welcome back everyone. It's been a long time and I apologize. It's just been crazy busy for the last little while. I, I moved, um, you know, job's been crazy busy. It's just a whole host of things. I apologize, but I am back and I have a really quick DIY on how to get your steering shaft to not sound like crap when you're turning the wheel. Um, you'll hear clunking and and sometimes it'll bind up and you know, it, it's just not, there's some resistance when I turn my wheel to the right. Whereas to the left, it's okay. Um, so I read a couple things online and I, I tried a few things, it didn't work. But one thing I, I did try and it actually did work was to lubricate my steering column, uh, at least from you know the firewall back. So the areas where you really need to focus on are, as far as I know, on the E36, it seems to be from the firewall into the engine bay. Um, so your steering shaft is actually down in there, and I've put a light in here so hopefully you guys can see it. But zoom into it so you guys can see it obviously the focus there we go so that back there is where it comes in through the firewall and goes down into the power steering rack down there um, so and I'm gonna give you a top view as well so if you look down from above you'll actually see it right right there so that's actually one of the, the U-joints coming in from the firewall and going all the way down. And so you need to lubricate this U-joint right there. It's important. This U-joint, in my case, it was really, really like stubborn. Uh, and I could tell because I could hear it as I was turning the wheel. And honestly, if you unlock your wheel, so if you have your key in the ignition, let me zoom back out. If you have your key in the ignition, you should be able to theoretically you know turn your wheel as you want so in my case as you can see it's really hard to turn it to, to the right but then if i turn it to the left fairly easy so um the resistance that i got turning right the way i figured out what to, and this has helped me a lot there was a lot of clunking and it's just my steering wheel i know i need a new clock spring but besides the point um you know it, it really helped me so all you need number one big long straw i couldn't find a seriously long straw and in canada for whatever reason they don't sell straws anymore i couldn't find anything anywhere surprisingly we picked up straws from mcdonald's and being that they're paper straws obviously don't last long so you have to do this fairly quickly uh, and i just taped them together and then i fed them through in here all the way to the back to um just basically where you know the steering shaft comes through the firewall um, and into the engine bay and, and I'm just trying to basically get it so that it's lined up and every time and whenever I spray it'll just lubricate that bearing back there so once you get it lined up the other thing you need is obviously your lubricant I got PB blaster this is not a lubricant it's more of a penetrating catalyst as it says on the bottle so it's more of a penetrant however um, the good thing about it is it really is good at breaking apart grime and dirt and rust etc this is really good for that so what I'm planning on doing is get this to break the rust and all the, the really the, the hardness and the harshness in the wheel and whatever is building up in there and just trying to break that all apart first and then I will lubricate it so what I have is BioShield, um, which is a really good waterproof lubrication. So that even if you know we were to power wash this engine, which it desperately needs, um, the lubrication doesn't go away. So I'm just gonna put uh, quite a bit of this actually down into in through the straw all the way to the back of the steering column, um, as I showed you, and obviously on the on the U joint just down there. Um, so get your straw. You know lubricate the areas and obviously if you can move your wheel as you're doing it if you have a helper but if you don't you know lubricate it turn the wheel just a little bit lubricate it turn the wheel a little bit more lubricate it, it it's just, it's it's a circle so um, and it turns multiple rotations for one you know quarter turn of the wheel really so um so just keep that in mind that you don't need to go all out like you don't need to spray it like 50 times it's just you know a nice good coating and as you're moving the wheel, it should help you out a lot. So I'm going to quickly do that. 
uh, I hope you guys find this super helpful. Uh, you know, you know, leave, like, comment, subscribe. I will try to bring you guys more DIYs as always. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for helping me hit 400 subscribers. I'm, I'm super grateful and hope you find this super helpful. Till next time. Thanks.